Hello everyone, welcome back. In today's video, I'm going to be telling you how to set up a co-op server using New Vegas' multiplayer mod, whatever you want to call it. So, first of all, I'm using Hamaki. This is what it looks like. So, you can either port forward, which is not going to be what this video is about. This is about using a network uh, online, and like I just said, I'm using Hamaki right now. And this just makes it so I don't have to port forward. Now, some people can't port forward if you don't have an Ethernet. As far as I know, I don't think you can. I can't port forward because I don't have an Ethernet. This is a lot easier to use a network, in my opinion. Um, so that is what I'm going to be telling people how to do. So I'm assuming you already have New Vegas' um, multiplayer installed. And if you do, the good. Navigate to Steam. Browse your local files and follow New Vegas. And then you can either load and have uh, mplauncher.exe or launch the story server. I like just launching it uh, from the exe. Click launch local server and this whole menu should pop up right here. And so the way the owner of the server, the person who's running the server connects is connect via IP. This is your local host. All right. You connect it through here. And then when you, the host, I assume in the host is watching the video, when the host connects to the server, then everyone else can connect to the server. So how do you have other people connect to the server is you have to get your IPv4 address from your network. So this is my network. I have two people in my network right now. I'm not going to make them join the server right now, but I have two people in my network and you can see my IPv4 is right there. I'm going to blur it out because I don't know if it's safe to share it or not. So you're not going to be able to see it, but you're going to right click and then you can see copy IPv4. And when that's copied, then that's good. But make sure you have the people you're playing with in your network. So with Hamaki, you can only have up to five people, including yourself. That's actually not too bad. I wouldn't recommend playing Fall of New Vegas multiplayer with any more than three people because it could get laggy and it's co-op for a reason. So when you have your IP, you're going to want to grab your... So this is what it's going to look like, I guess. So you're going to remove local host, but you're going to keep the call on. All right, you're going to keep colon 27015, and then he's going to paste your IPv4 right behind it, making a whole new number, but with 27015 at the end still, and then you're going to connect to it. And then that itself should let you connect to it. If you have any questions, feel free to ask me down below. But that is basically how to set up a Fallout New Vegas multiplayer co-op server using a network like Hamaki. I'll have Hermaki linked down below. It's honestly the best thing ever. And soon I'll be making a video on how to do this on Pulsa 2. Because there's some extra steps to do that on Pulsa 2. But hypothetically speaking, you could host a Minecraft server. You could host any server that requires a port forward with a network like this. So, yeah. the I think the issue with doing a network, though, is ping might be a little higher. For me, in my case, I usually get around like 20 ping for hosting a new vegas multiplayer server my friends typically get something like 100 it's not too bad but it maybe could be better if you pour it forward anyways that's how you do it thank you for watching this video really hope this helped and goodbye everyone